Let's say you are managing a launch request for different customers based on their income. You need to determine the customer type based on their income also. Normally, when you are storing this data in database, you would write a code to decide a customer type during the data entry, right? But what if I told you that there is an easier way that you can create column in Dataverse that automatically calculate and store the customer type based on their income using the concept of calculated column. This will eliminate the need of manual coding and ensure that the data isn't always accurate and up to date. So in this video, you will learn about calculated column in Dataverse. Hi, this is Krupali from Knowhow Academy. I welcome you all to Power App Full Course. Before going ahead in this video, let me tell you what you will learn from this video. First, you will learn what is the meaning of calculated column. And second thing, you will learn how you can add calculated column in Dataverse table. So without delay, let's get started. So first of all, let me tell you what is calculated column in Dataverse. Let me explain you with the simple practical demo. Now here, I have developed one Power App form or you can say one canvas app. When I run that, uh, you will see that uh, I need to enter the customer email, name, contact number, yearly income, what amount they require for loan and what is the reason for taking the loan. Now when I enter the data, let me quickly uh, enter the data. So here I'm entering one customer information who is requesting for a loan. So the customer income is 7 lakh and uh, he is asking for a loan or she is asking for a loan 2 lakh and the reason for taking a loan is for repairing the house. When I submit a request, you will see that the request is added and here automatically the type of customer is also added. That is regular customer. Now let me enter the second customer information and show you what is calculated column. Okay. Okay. Now that is the person name and the income of the person is 12 lakh and he is asking for 10,000 rupees loan. And when I submit a request, you will see that the type of that customer is a classic customer and the previous customer is a regular customer. Now, how this customer type is defined? So I have uh, written a criteria which will check the, whether the customer type is a regular customer or a classic customer. But that coding, I'm not doing in Power App. I am doing that coding or I am writing this uh, instruction in Dataverse and here if you see in the Dataverse there is one column called customer type that information I cannot edit but when I am entering data into Dataverse through Power App automatically the customer type will be filled based on the income of the customer. So that column data is decided based on some other data. So that customer type column is considered it as a calculated column. So in simple term calculated column means when data is entered in the dataverse the column data will not entered by the application but based on some other data column data will be entered itself by a dataverse so basically a programming way we are entering a data so this is called calculated column in dataverse sometimes it is also referred as a calculated field in dataverse so i hope you understand what is the meaning of calculated column or calculated field in microsoft dataverse table now let me tell you the second thing how to add calculated column in dataverse table now inside the dataverse 
let's say if you want to add one new column and that column data you will not expect from the end user but based on some data end user entered some new data or some calculated data is generated so for that you need to click on plus sign and take a new column here i'm again taking a column as a customer type uh, i i have already added but to show you the demo i am again adding a uh, column as a customer type now here my column type is customer uh, type uh, so i have written it in a entire form but here i am writing customer underscore type and here in data type you need to select a, a data type as a formula now this is the one updation in dataverse if you are using dataverse since long previously that option was not available but if you want to do that at that time one option was there in behavior that is calculated if you select that here it is uh, showing a warning kind or not kind of thing uh, that is telling that the calculated behavior will eventually be disconnected we recommended using the formula data type for calculation instead okay so those who are using uh, calculated behavior previously now data were shift to the data type uh, that is formula now after selecting the formula you will see that data was give you a space in that you need to add some formula now this is called power fx formula using which your column value will decide so here the question comes that how you should write power fx formula so that your calculated in data or your calculated data will inserted in the table so power fx formula in dataverse is same as a formula the way you are writing in power app so first of all based on which column you want to uh, generate data or you want to decide data so here in customer type my customer type is dependent on the customer income column so here i am taking uh, one criteria for deciding the customer type that if the customer income is greater than or equal to 10 lakh then we can say that the customer is a classic customer if the customer income is less than the 10 lakh then we can say that the customer is a regular customer so for that you need to write one formula the way we are writing in power apps so here you need to write if below also you will get suggestion then here you will see the column which is available in your table so my table name is loan request and in my loan request table there is one column called yearly income so if you write that yearly income here in below suggestion you will get that so if my yearly income is greater than or equal to 10 lakh then you should write comma what if the condition is true that you need to write after the comma so for that my customer type will be classic customer and otherwise if the condition is not satisfied then i can say my customer type is regular customer and then you need to complete a bracket now here the data in the newly generated column will be inserted based on the column value of yearly income and what format data you want so i am entering data in a text format so you should keep the format text here different other formats are also there email phone number reach text any url or etc so right now i am keeping it as a text because i want to just add only the text and if you click on the advanced option you will see the logical name or schema name and what can be the maximum character count you can enter inside that formula column and you can click on save so here you can see that inside that data or inside that column data is automatically filled now see the yearly income of the customer is let's say 12 lakh so automatically they are considered it as a classic customer now the yearly income of the customer is 7 lakh so automatically they consider it is a regular customer and 5 lakh they are considering it as a uh, regular customer now you may have a question this column is already there but i created again to show you the demo okay now see that data i did not enter it automatically filled 
if you are entering data manually or if you are entering data through power app data will automatically filled now when you are editing the data if you just click on edit and you can see that data you cannot edit now that column data you will able to edit but uh, this column which, which is considered it as a calculated column or the column which has a data type formula that you cannot edit now if i add the data manually let's say uh, test then uh, test at the rate gmail.com now let's say here i am adding income as a 60 lakh okay then uh, contact number random for testing purpose and let's say loan required amount is 3 lakh so automatically when you just go to the next uh, row automatically in this both the column data is uh, written automatically by the data verse so this way you can add calculated column in your data verse now this calculated column also you can use in your view as well as form now if you click on the view and click on this public view or you can select any view and if you just uh, see that search the column customer type so automatically it will be added so here that calculated column also you can add it in a view and uh, let's say uh, if you save and publish the effect will appear then if you go back and uh, here it is asking unsaved changes why because still the changes are published so wait until it's published now it is uh, published so let me go back and if I go to the form here and if I click on the main form. Uh, so here uh, it is taking time to load the data but make sure that when you are uh, seeing that field. So here you will see the field. Let me just uh, tell you customer type and if once you drag that here it will be locked. So this way you can add calculated column in Dataverse table before ending this video let me tell you what you have learned from this video first you have learned what is the meaning of calculated column in dataverse and second you have learned how to add calculated column in dataverse thank you for choosing know how academy as a source of your it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question do not feel hesitate to reach out to us Stay curious, keep learning.